Michelangelo Pistoletto ist eine der großen, faszinierenden Künstlerpersönlichkeiten der heutigen Zeit. Wir haben eine große Freude damit, hier von den 50er Jahren weg bis Mitte der 70er Jahre einige der wichtigsten Werke aus seiner frühen Schaffensperiode zu zeigen. Zentral in diesem Komplex sind die Oggetti in Meno, die Minusobjekte, Skulpturen, die man eigentlich erst heute so langsam richtig zu verstehen lernt, die sehr viel vorweggenommen haben von künstlerischen Praktiken der letzten paar Jahre und die bei Weitem noch nicht in ihrer Gänze verstanden sind. Wir sehen aber auch frühe Selbstporträts, Spiegel und Objekte und Projekte aus der Zeit der Arte Povera. Zwei unwahrscheinlich spannende Jahrzehnte zwischen 1956 und 1974 präsentieren sich da für uns in einem, wie eben gesagt, besonders dichten und besonders wegweisenden Werk. Pistoletto kommt von der Selbstdarstellung zu einer Darstellung der gesamten Welt, immer auch in der Ambivalenz zwischen dem Metaphorischen und dem Identen, Tautologischen. Eine enorm äh, penible Recherche zu Darstellungsformen der Wirklichkeit, zu unserer Fantasieproduktion, unseren Formen Geschichten zu erzählen, Verhältnisse darzustellen und damit Erkenntnis zu fördern. Ein Rechercheur in der Wirklichkeit, einer, der aber mit jedem Kunstwerk die Wirklichkeit auch verändern möchte, uns selbst zur Veränderung auffordert, Partizipation einfragt, daraus eine enorme Dynamik erzielt und diese auch bis in die heutige Zeit weiterträgt. Takes time to go up. Eh? Takes time. Hours and hours. Nail. Hammer. <laughs> screw. Of course. But you see, all my, my art is an experiment of, of thought and life. Mm. Uh, uh, for me, art is, is at the same time. Uh, Philosophy, science, all my work is very philosophic, is, is very scientific, because you always can have the, 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 the possibility of verifying what is mm. there. It's not just my invention. There's nothing that is my pure individual expression and invention. Mm. I always, it's always a phenomenon behind or inside. Mm -hmm. There is a phenomenon. It's a phenomenological thing. And that means, and that means it is scientific. Mm -hmm. So if, if, we if we speak about our, the unknown, well, you have to know about the un what it means unknown. <laughs> Bravissimo. I started, my, I, start, I started my career making restoration. I was making what you're doing now. Oh. In, in the... <laughs> no. <laughs> now I can make mistakes. Uh, my father was an artist. He studied at the academy in Stuttgart, Stuttgart. Ah. And <laughs> I didn't stu study arts uh, 
So I became a My father was a painter and uh -huh. a restorer. Both. And so I started to work with him when yeah. I was 14 years old, yeah. Yeah. making what you're doing yeah, now, yeah. restoration. Yeah, yeah. And through restoration, I, le I learned yeah. art. Yeah, yeah. All the techniques, art. the different All techniques. All the techniques. Yeah. This is very important. Yeah. Yes, uh, to, uh, to know the past yeah, yeah. in order to, to, to have a vision for yeah, the future. Yeah. Youth, youth means that you are young, you don't know the future of the world, but you know a little bit of the past, uh, and you have to, to, to bring yourself in the perspective of doing something, to, re to recognize yourself in the world. And it is why I started to work with the self-portrait, using a material that was, uh, I, I cannot say differently, uh, it was the avant-garde of that time. Uh, abstraction, but I didn't want to be abstract. I, I wanted to use that material that was used for the abstraction, but in order to make myself, uh, my figure, my image, my self-portrait, um, and in order to recognize myself and uh, uh, find my identity. Uh, you see, in this series of work, from the beginning, it was a research of identity. Uh, the identity has always been, a, a, let's say, a system of, of work for the, for the artist making the self-portrait in the past. But the self-portrait always showing the artist alone on the canvas. And finally, and finally I was uh, not happy to be all alone. And, and uh, because my identity, it, it, I, I, I didn't want that was isolating me from the world. But how to recognize the world? Uh, it is why I started with uh, the, the uh, kind of monochrome, uh, background, silver, gold, until when uh, a, black, a, a black background, very shiny, it was, started to reflect. And, and, and I had the possibility to see myself into the painting, uh, to see myself in the reflection into the painting, and not anymore myself in the mirror that normally is beside the painting. Uh, and little by little, in this way, uh, I transformed the, the surface of the painting in a mirror, uh, using, using uh, stainless steel, polished stainless steel. And the figure it became, little by little, more photographic, because in the reflection, the reality is uh, absolutely objective. It's not subjective. When I made uh, the show in Philadelphia, uh, <coughs> the black people that were, uh, they were making poor work there, they said, oh, finally an artist that is thinking about our problems, <laughs> seeing this work. They were very happy about this work. Yeah. We always uh, go, go to this point to dominate the others. Mm -hmm. This is not democracy. Mm -hmm. And I think, for example, that the most monotheistic religions, they cannot be democratic. They can only mm -hmm. be absolutistic. If you want the democracy, you have to think not to a monotheistic system, but an omnitheistic system. Everybody has the same responsibility as creators. We are creators of our life. <laughs> we are, so we have to have responsibility. And, we have, and it is why art, art has, has developed a freedom that nothing else developed. But more free we are, more responsible we are. So it is why, why I think that art can project the view of the mm -hmm. future mm -hmm. and the responsibility of the people, making everybody more free and more responsible possible. This is the future that I work with. Mm -hmm. But it is a, a, the cage of the freedom. Mm -hmm. huh? we, we go in and, and out. Mm -hmm. Is the cage of the freedom.
Uh, the minor subjects that, uh, that are here, they've come from the idea of, of, of the whole possibility we have in, in the mind, uh, but we never bring, bring it outside, probably. This rose, it can not exist because there is the, I, we don't find the reason to do it. Uh, in our mind, we have a lot of possibility. The moment you realize something, you take away a possibility and you bring it in the reality. So it is a possibility less. It is why minus object. Minus possibilities. You take away the possibility and you make a, a, the real thing. And the real thing, it can be also something that normally is, is not taught to exist for practical reason. That is the art. The person that is not born one day will exist and it can be reflected in, in the mirror. Uh, with the minus subject, I was thinking of the possibility that the brain has to uh, have inside all possibilities. And all these possibilities come from, from the inconsistent zone of the brain to the consistent possibility of producing the, the, the possibility and make it physical. The real big universe is, is just made of possibilities. So many possibilities that little by little come into the reality, become physical. Uh, I think that the universe is made half of possibility, half of realization. And it goes on um, transforming realization in new possibilities and possibilities in new realization. I always to go back mm -hmm. to the mirror to like a book, uh, a book that it give me answers. But the mirror painting, they are the same. Okay. The painting is, is made with the mirror, okay. But in the mirror, we have all possibilities. Everything is possible that happened in the mirror. Uh, still, it doesn't exist. Probably somebody that, that is not born today. It's already in the mirror. Because tomorrow, it will be in front of the mirror. So the possibility are there. Diese ganze Periode auf der Spiegelbilder bis äh, zum Oggetto in Meno äh, vorbereitet auch sehr, sehr deutlich nicht nur eine europä europäische Situation, auch einen ganz wichtigen Platz für die italienische Situation, um international zu existieren und zu äh, einer Gruppe von Leuten zu vereinen, äh, das wird die Gruppe von Arte Povera. Äh, die Prägnanz von, von Pistoletto in diese ganze Entwicklung ist sehr groß. Ist sehr groß, weil Pistoletto kommt aus Turin und in Turin natürlich sind meistens die Künstler, aber der, hat, der ist auch sehr aktiv international, der ist auch in Rom, wo die Situation ist ganz anderes. Und natürlich Rom mit Vatikan, ist das Gegenteil von Turin mit der Republik. Ja. Und Michelangelo spielt wunderbar diese, diese äh, Auseinandersetzung einer alten römischen Geschichte, genau wie mit dieser Petra Milliare. Die wird nicht als räumliches Zeichen, sondern als zeit, zeitliches Zeichen gespielt, 67. Und der wird in dem Sinn auch äh, markieren, diese Übergang von der 60er Jahre zum 70er Jahre, von äh, Objekte, Realität, der kritische Realität zu Objekt, zu einer Aktion, zu einer permanenten Aktion des Künstlers, der wird zu Performer, zu, zu, der, der, der wird zu einer, einer Mischung von allen möglichen Arten von Kunst, weil der arbeitet plötzlich mit Theater, Musik, Film, Video, Performance und so weiter. Because 
we were talking before, before to be born, we are in the possibility. There is the possibility that we come in this life. And after we, here we have the possibility to become something else after, mm -hmm. and so on. This is the creation and recreation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other way you cannot say that art is a, cre is a creation. This is why the art is the creation. It's, it's bringing from nothing to something. <laughs> from something to nothing, and, and so on. In dem Sinn, Pistoletto ist ein Künstler, der hat wirklich einmal hat selbst gesagt in einem ganz frühen Interview, man wird mich nie finden, wo ich bin erwartet. Und ich denke, das ist genau seine ganze Arbeit, ist immer wo anderes, von was man erwartet oder wo denkt man, dass es sei, dass es ist. Ja? In dem Sinn, okay, heute Pistoletto ist in Graz. Um, there was a um, cooperation between the artists of Arte Pova in Italia. It, it, was, it was not a real collaboration. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a kind of uh, atmosphere, mm -hmm. a feeling. Mm -hmm. a feeling. Uh, of, I think it was very similar to the, my, the Manu subject, that everybody was saying, we have to do something, doesn't matter, that is conceived to be, uh, to be good or not good, to be related with something that we, we think is, is important. In, 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 the, in, the, in the values in the, in the values that are taken in consideration and any stupid thing can mm -hmm. can be a good material a good mm -hmm. uh, possibility to do something as I did with the minor subject any any moment any pretext can produce something and I think that everybody made his own way mm -hmm. to 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 be honest mm -hmm. okay to be honest, mm -hmm. find his own way to be honest. Mm -hmm. Voila. Yeah. For, so the, for example, the rose. Um, I, was, I was dreaming in the night that I was making the rose with, with cardboard. With card? cardboard? Ah, cardboard, yes. And, and giving the red color on it and, and burning it at the end. And waking up, I went to find the, the cardboard. I did it, did it, like in the dream. The recipes of the dream, this the recipe and and this is the recipes of the dream. Oh, beautiful! Yeah. Oh. Well, everything is done in this way. For example, the, these three canvas, the uh, dark canvas, you, you see the other side. Um, I, I paint one one of it, um, and 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 the canvas was turning. Okay. Yes. So, oh my God! It's wrong. I did a second time with another. And it, it happened the same. I did a third, a third time, and again, I said, oh, three times wrong is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like the people that when they make photo, I mean the, the photographers, make photo of the mirror painting, they find do not see themselves inside. Why? Uh -huh. Why? The mirror uh, brings you and, and everybody else yeah. inside. But, yeah. This is the point the people are scared to, to be inside of the mirror yeah. sometime. <laughs> Once that I made the show in Paris, at the opening, the people was put, it was full of people, huh? and everybody was standing against the wall and putting the, the, the arms and, and the legs against the wall. And at the end, there was two dirty lines. I said, we need something in the center that people can, can, can be comfortable. <laughs> it is why it came to me, the idea of doing that. <laughs> yeah, to save the walls. <laughs> just to save the cleanness of the wall. <laughs> The, 
the sphere of newspaper, it was part of the minus object. And uh, it was the only piece that would have been possible to bring outside of the atelier and going in the street because it was rolling. And I, I transformed this work in uh, uh, working sculpture. Um, went, went, went around in the street and the people started to, pos to take possession of it. And it became like a, 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 an active work that was bringing me and my activity from the studio outside of the studio, from the studio to the street. And uh, it was the beginning of an activity that I made with other people opening my studio and create the zoo activity in the street. The zoo, it was um, created by the idea that uh, the studio is a cage and a cage where uh, many animals, they can exist there. That means, that means uh, different languages of art. Um, uh, Poetry, film, uh, uh, theater, actors, uh, and, and uh, music. So, all together we went outside in the street and we started to act together, to create this interconnection between different languages of art and the languages of the common people in the street. Uh, from, the, from the sphere, rolling in the street, the people coming in the street, and activating this process of relation between art and society. People mm. together, they could really go and, f to f and form mm. a new fa kind of relation mm. to escaping the cage. Because the institution were cages for mm. me. Like, like the cage, it was the traditional way to, uh, to conceive the, 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 you can say, dogmatic system, the dogmatic system of reference. For me, art, it was the, the possibility to go outside of the dogma. For me, the dogma mm. is a cage. Mm. Uh, the religions are cages. People live, live in cages. Mm. Dif different, different, uh, um, we, we have different uh, um, monotheistic mm. cages. Not, uh, not mm. just one mono monotheistic religion. Mm. We have many mm. different. So I, I like putting together these things. I like the, 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 the difference being open to collaborate, to connect, mm. to keep their own identity, but at the same time to respect and to react with the identity of the other. Mm. This is the new world that I think should, mm. should be developed. Thank we you. were talking about the, the black, yeah. Yeah. the black men here. The uomo nero, no? Lo zoo, the black man. <clears throat> because we, I was, I was saying, for, for me, the black, it, it's like, like the sky. The sky is black. The universe is black. Um, it, it is a kind of nothing where we see the stars, we see the object that exists. Um, it, is, it is like the mirror. I mean, the black is like the mirror. It, it is something that is everywhere, but it, it can bring everything inside of it. It is like the emptiness, is like the nothing. The black is like nothing that can have everything inside. Again, is the problem of the universe. And, and, and the translation of this idea of, of a person in a person is very important for me. Because a person is at the same time a uh, star and, and nothing. Black and light. Voilà. Because the mirror painting, when yeah. the, the mirror painting also, they have the, the, the same quality. The, the moment you take a photo, you make the, hist yeah. Yeah. the historical document of the present yeah. that become memory and memory, memory, memory. But, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's taking away from the mirror a moment of the present 
that become historical. It's yeah. it immediately, the moment you make a photo, it's already historical. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? The present tuck, become yeah. historical. And this is the relation between this and the mirror painting. Yeah. <clears throat> the Venus of Rags is putting together two components. One is the past, uh, it is the memory, the beauty of the Venus is coming from the past, and it's bringing up this uh, pile of rags that represent the final point, the, 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 the end of the process of the consumeristic system. The consumeristic system arrived to be consumed its, itself, and, and uh, it becomes garbage. But the Venus is recycling, is recycling everything. It's recycling the garbage, and the, the garbage become, again, color, form, and, and, and happiness. So this is the time of recycling the past in a new future, having, having a kind of responsibility that come in to looking back, looking in the past, and see what is good of the past that can be projected in the future. And also to invent, invent a new form of technology and, and science that can restore the rapport uh, between uh, the artificial world with the nature. If we destroy the nature, destroy the nature, we destroy ourselves. Mm -hmm. We cut the, the, the branch where we are sitting on, <laughs> on the tree. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Voila, this, this is, we are living a big change. Mm -hmm. And little by little, people should, should, uh, should understand that has to participate to this big work, mm -hmm. big work that I can call also work of art mm -hmm. as work of politics, work of, of art as work of economy, work of art as work of spirituality, work of art as work of communication. But art and, has to be a, a kind of Mm. Inji for, for the mm. transformation. Mm. I made a work that is called the Third Paradise. It's a project. It's a project for the humanity. The Third Paradise, it means that there is two paradises before. One, it was the paradise of the nature, when the people was totally included in the nature. Uh, the second paradise is the human being becoming more and more autonomous from a, from the nature and becoming totally artificial. We live in an artificial world today that is creating fantastic things, but at the same time is destroying the nature. So we have to bring back the nature and the technology to, to connect together, to be able to create a, a new paradise, a new uh, vision of the future, and that is engaging everybody as a project. The project is the capacity of putting together the antique nature and the modern technology. Um, so with, with that, we arrive to, to this third paradise, and it is something that uh, has to be built by everybody together, and, and we have to recycle the past into a new future.